Hello everybody. New week. Well, it's actually it is, it is, it's, it's Wednesday today. Um, so I've not really been up the plot recently. Um, I've been down water and things like that, but I've not been able to get much done. Hence the no updates from uh, just the past couple of days. I have gotten some uh, a parcel this morning, which I'm very pleased about. As you all know, I'll be doing a lot more. Um, strawberries and things next year and uh, there's been a few people said they're going to send us some, some runners and things so I've received this morning first batch of runners from uh, Red Flower and Strawberry which Rodney Halliwell it was a it was a subscriber um, he's been for a while he's, uh, he's, he's sent us some up and I'll show you these now just pop that box up the other way well, 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 thank you very much for these, Ronnie. They were well looked after and well packaged up. So, as you can see, they're well packaged up. I've gotten six plants. So, these are getting left where they are. What he's done is a little trick that that Jeff's done. Jeff uses. So, what he does is he gets his runners. He gets the runners, puts them in a pot. Then, little is he, you can't see on there. So. It's got a little straw bit, a little bit of straw, snip the top off, peg them down, and they'll develop roots. So that's what uh, I've got six of these to deal with. They'll be getting kept in these pots until they develop a bit more. Then I'll transfer them up and more. So I can get runners from these from next year, so I'll have plenty of stock in the next couple of years. So thank you very much for those, Rodney. Much appreciated, pal. They've come, they've arrived, they're all, they're all safe and well. Um, I'm going to get them all sorted out now, um, take the plastics off, get, leave them in here, and I'm going to start watering everything in here. So um, I'm going to head down to the allotment. Um, it might not be the day, but it'll probably be, it will be on Saturday, so I'll give you an update on what's happening then and what I'm going to be getting on with it. So I'll see you then. Hello! Say hello, girls. Hello, girls. Hello girls, oh, I kind of put them near where you know that. Right, me and Elizabeth, me, Elizabeth and Sky coming on the garden, I've got lots to be getting on with. Um, I've got brought these, uh, my granddad Dave's pot leaks down from home, which need potting up, because they're, uh, they're dying to be pot up out. Um, so I'm going to pot them up, take them back home, pot them and them back on the windowsill. Um, I've got also got uh, the Yes, I quick tomatoes to pot on, I've got all sorts of other things I need to pot on, I've got uh, chilies need potting on. We've got um, we've got these. The girls got us some uh, some more lily bulbs, and it says I can plant them out and uh, plant them out now. So February to June. So I'm gonna plant them out now. It's July, but I'm gonna plant these out now as well. See what? See how it is. See how it is. So we're gonna get on with these. We're gonna crack on, and uh, we're gonna get stuff sorted out. So we'll uh, we'll work catches once we're getting sorted out with these. Right. I'm gonna leave you with Elizabeth. Elizabeth's gonna show you what she's doing with the lilies. So I'm gonna get crack on with something else. So I'm gonna show you the box what they, what they look like, right in pink. So I filled up the bucket halfway and now I'm gonna put the four lilies in. These are, this is what they look like. Next, I need to get the shovel and screw up the water in so it can cover up the roots. This is what you might find easier walking around the other side. Okay. So the other side, there you go, good last. Okay, we need to move this side. So 
sure. It looks nice. And then you done. And it should end up like this. Is that you all done, Elizabeth? Yeah. Well, thank you very much for showing everybody how we plant the lilies. Right, so, watch this up the way, darling. Mm -hmm. So, Elizabeth's just showed what we're doing with the lilies. These lilies are going to be kept in the buckets now, and they're going to be kept outside. She's going to give them a good water and through, then uh, that's them done. So, she's still got another box. Like I say, these, the kids got us these for Father's Day. So, we've got some red and yellow ones to put in. And we've also got seven of these oriental mixture ones. Now we've got some of these in the back gardens as well, so I'll show you what they look like in a couple of weeks' time when they start budding up. But from me and Elizabeth for the minute, Elizabeth's going to get cracked on with the rest of these, and Dad, I'm going to get sorted with the rest of the stuff as well. We're also going to be pulling the onions today, so you'll see that a bit a little bit later on. So from me and Elizabeth, well, uh, we're going to see you in a little bit. Hello. Excuse the uh, top off. I'm absolutely on roasting here. So what I'm doing at the minute is I've got lots to be potting on with. We're starting with these. These are the, uh, what are these again? They're the Ilsa Craig onions for outside. They're ready to be potted up. Now I always fought a little bit farther behind because I forgot to put these out. But these are ready to be potted up and they're going into the, the pine trays. So you can see there. So these are going to go into the pine trays. The pine cups, sorry. So they're going to go in the pine cups next. Then from here they'll go into the buckets outside and they'll just stay outside and we'll see how we we'll get on with them. I've got 10 for me and 10 for the school. So I'm going to get these potted up. Once I've gotten these potted up, I'm then going to get these potted up, which are the Dikayen chilies. So these have come on absolutely leaps and bounds. These are fantastic. Size them as well. They're really good. They're ready to be potted on. To be fair, they could have been potted on a little while ago. It's a cracking root system on them. So they're going from these little cups into, into these. Then I'm going to save four. Um, then four of these are going to go into the air pots once I've been in for a while from here to the pine cups to the air pots. Um, to be honest, I probably could whack these straight in the air pots, but I'm just going to do it gradually because they'll be ready to go in the air pots in the next couple of weeks. So that's what I'm going to get done after I've gotten that done as well. I've got, go, I've got to put on the other chilies as well. That's in the middle greenhouse, but I'll show you them once I get sorted out with these. So I'll show you where they sit once I've gotten these potted up. So I'm not going to show you how to get these potted up because you've seen us pot up loads of stuff several times over. So I'm going to get these potted up and I'll show you the middle greenhouse. That's 19 um, Ilsa Craig tomatoes potted up. And I've also potted the four pot leeks from my granddad, my granddad's seed. These are the difference in these. Now I've brought these from home, right? These have been brought from home. They've been sitting on the windowsill, nothing at all. Just sitting on the windowsill, watered every now and then. And these ones here have been down the allotment. Now the ones that look from the allotment are a lot bigger, which is fair enough. But they're also very damaged. So I have been spraying these. So we'll see how they turn out. Still plenty, plenty, plenty time for them. But these ones aren't. So I'm going to take these ones back home and see what the differences are between them ones and these ones as well. So next job, what me and Elizabeth's going to do is we're going to get the onions, uh, the, the the onions pulled up. Now they don't look like much. I did knock them over last week. I've already pulled one up. The harvest has been. It's going to be pretty poor. But as you can see, we've got an onion. <laughs> So I mean Elizabeth's gonna pull all of these up now. And there we have the red onions and the Japanese onions. Now we've had a really bad showing this year. I had a much better, much better harvest last year than this year. The red onions, no idea what's happened with these, but they're starting to shoot off at the sides as well. That's that's near no good. Um and where's it? There was one on here as well, which uh, I mean some of these probably aren't ready to be pulled yet, but they all went in at the same time, so they've already been sent flower stems and all sorts of. Uh, there was one over here, this one here. I don't know what that's doing. It's a pepper. It's not a pepper, it's a red onion, Sky. Look, it's, it's, um, it looks like a pepper. No idea what's happened with that one, but red onions have been poor. So hopefully the mammoth, the mammoth improved and the uh, red mammoth improved over there feel a lot better than these ones. And I still already have the other lot, which need to be pulled, which are these lot here and amongst the weeds. So hopefully we'll get plenty more out of them. 
but that's the harvest for the onions in any case so these onions now are going to be left outside all this week i'll find somewhere for them i'll put them um, i'll let them dry off and once they're dried off i'll either braid them or tie them up and hang them up somewhere so that's how i store and keep my onions but keep an eye out for them in future future updates middle greenhouse where i've got the chilies and the peppers so these need potting on which i will be doing and these chilies need potting on as well they're not really responding very well in this soil the compost so i'm going to replace the compost so we'll see uh, we'll see how they push on over the coming weeks but that's where they're sitting at the moment um romano mix the pep sweet peppers i mean they're all i need to get these pushed on i mean they're coming up the bottom now I need to get them pushed on as fast as i can really so uh i'm starting to fall behind with everything so i get them potted up and we'll see how things go with them this guy here and i'm going to be putting some dahlia daily cuttings in in the exact same place where the where the onions were and we're gonna so we're gonna so we're gonna we're gonna sprinkle some of some echo thrive charge and then we'll pop and we'll put the the deal he has in. So this is what I'm using to dig the holes but I've already started to dig some holes already so let's get planting. I'm going to choose this one out first of all. Oh, that's not my hand. Okay and let's pull out the tab and put it inside there. Oh. And, then, um, and then we'll squeeze the bottom and the top and it upside down and then squeeze the bottom until it comes out. Okay, now let's put inside the ground. And then cover it up. How far apart are we putting them, Sky? We're putting them one foot apart. Right, you have to make sure that it's firmed in, right? Make sure that the plant is firmed in so it doesn't blow away in the so, in the wind. Yeah. There we are. So there's one done. So we're gonna get the rest of them sorted now. We've got another about another 35 to put in. And then we'll go home. Just pick some flowers and I'll show you exactly what's going on here, but this bee is not letting me have these flowers. <laughs> I'll show there it's back again, so I'm going to put it down because I'm a bit worried at the minute with these bees and I'll show you the reason as to why because I've just found something out. Anyhow, I'm busy doing some cut flowers for the for, for Leslie. Um, I've got some white and some yellow, uh, white, I've got yellow and orange calendula and some sweet peas which need picking. I do need to come back down, I'll come back down next week to get these uh, sweet peas all dealt with. Now, these three boxes here have been sitting here for years. And I've just noticed when I was down here picking the sweet peas from down here that inside you can't really see anything, can you? No, let's see. So inside there's bees. So they've made that as a little home. So I'm gonna have to leave that, just let it be. <laughs> oh sorry about that. Let it, I'm just gonna have to leave it. <laughs> Next for jokes, I don't even mean it. But yeah, that's, I just thought I'd show you that when I'm finishing up now anyways. So yeah, I'm finished now. I'm going to take these uh, beautiful flowers home as well. Another handful of sweet peas. I need to come down and I need to sort out all the rest of them as well. Because uh, I'll get the wife to sort out a bookie or something like this. It's fine. But them orange, them calendula are beautiful. Thank you very much for those, Dave. It was Dave um, that gave us these. So they've turned out beautifully. Um, so I'm going to take them home. Put them in the basket and that's it done and dusted. But as of everything down here, I'm finished. Uh, there's a. Uh, if you've probably seen the update through the middle of the week uh, as to what's going on in the garden, so if you haven't, just have a look on that. Um, the girls have enjoyed the day as well. And let them, let, I let them, because uh, they've been asking to do something little at the garden, so I let, thought I'd let them do a little session themselves today with the lilies and the. Uh, the the potting the, the dahlias out. I've still got loads of dahlias to pot out yet, so I've still got still got loads of things to be getting on with. But at the present moment in time, that's me done. I'm going to be coming. I will. I've got things to be potting on, so I will have a live uh, video this week. Uh, I don't know what day, but keep an eye out for that. Um, and next week we're going to be sorting out the apple trees. 
the pear trees um, because June drops would have happened by now and I'll explain more of that next week um, and I've also got a couple more beds to prepare as well so uh, I'll uh, over and out for me this week uh, hello to everybody that's just started joining on uh, see, like you've probably seen through throughout the week on Facebook hit over 900 subscribers this week which is <laughs> phenomenal eight months I've been doing this I didn't do it for subscribers I didn't do it for anything I did it for myself um, it's helped us along the way it's helped us keep track of what's going on in the garden it's given us motivation towards doing things as well it's also introduced me to an absolute ton of new people as well so I'm absolutely over the moon I started doing it and I will continue to do it even more so thanks everybody for joining thanks everybody for watching thanks everybody for commenting everybody for messaging um, I do respond to as many messages as I possibly can it's always nice to see how everybody else is getting on as well I will try in future to start speaking a lot slower for you as well because I've had a few messages saying that they can't understand me. So I will start speaking a little bit clearer for you to help you along with that. But as of me and the girls from this week, over and out. Enjoy the sunshine this week. It's going to be an absolute scorcher. So make sure that you get down to your plots or wherever you've got your gardens or wherever you're growing and get everything, keep everything watered. So yeah, like I say, from me and the girls, see you next week. <laughs> Bye, Grandad Dave. Bye. -bye.